Okay, to check your grammar in uh, turnitin.com, once you have uploaded your essay to turnitin.com, uh, you submit your essay. Um, I'm going to use a sample essay that I have submitted to a dummy assignment called Grammar Check Sample. So as soon as you submit the essay, allow it to um, uh, sit in Turnitin.com for about five minutes because it takes a few minutes for the reports to generate. Uh, then go back to turn it in and sign in and when you go in you should be able to see the blue view button will be highlighted so go to the grammar or for you guys it'll be the TTC uh, the things they carried grammar check that will have a blue button will be highlighted but for me it's the grammar check sample and I'm going to click on view and that loads the uh, sample essay that I have uploaded. Uh, Susie Student, and you can see that I have uh, set it up for MLA. And just when I scroll through the essay, you can see all these purple um, markings on it. And these are the grammar mistakes that have been made in the essay. You see up here there is this blue tab. Some of you may need to click on the blue tab to get the grade mark essay, uh, errors. Once you put your cursor over one of the purple markings, it will tell you what the grammar error is. So um, here it says they were forced to face gruesome battles where they saw intestines of horses or heads blown off other soldiers. So the grammar error in this particular um, mistake, it says that you may need to use an article before this word. Consider using the article the. So what I would want to do first is reread the sentence out loud. Uh, with the word the prior to intestines. They were forced to face gruesome battles where they saw the intestines of horses or heads blown off other soldiers. So that does sound a little better. In that case, I could go ahead and put the in front of intestines. Now, it's not always accurate the grammar um, fixes, which is why when you put the cursor over the grammar suggestion, it says may. You may need to. Because there are some circumstances where it's not necessary. For example, in this particular sentence, it says the men who go into war want to fight for their country and have courage to do so. Again, uh, turnitin.com is saying that I might want to put the before war here. So it's saying men, the men who go into the war want to fight for their country. But the sentence reads quite nicely without the article prior to war. So it's not necessary for me to put the article the before war. Um, if you really want to get more information and you're confused, you can go ahead and click on here where it says View Handbook. So when you click on that, it takes you to uh, a larger page with all a bunch more information regarding article errors. So um, this can give you more information on how you might be able to fix your grammar mistakes. Um, <clears throat> so. You just want to go through all of those errors. Um, it's not 100% accurate all the time. It doesn't always fix everything. For example, when I uploaded this essay, I made some purposeful grammar mistakes. I, it, the original essay said, I am writing this letter. So I changed it to, I is writing these letter. And notice it didn't even fix the verb here. 
So um, it's, it's not always 100% accurate, but um, it will correct and check most of the grammar errors. So what I suggest you do is you have one window open with the essay with the grammar mistakes and turn it in dot com uh, here and then you have another window open over here with your essay either in Word or in Google Docs where you can make your grammar corrections as you're working through the essay and you can do it side by side. That I think would be the fastest way to fix your grammar mistakes.